it's Nikki. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome of course if you're new here. It is Tuesday and that means we are here for another Tarot Card Tuesday. So if you're new here, what we do is I pull three Tarot Cards and give you a chance to see which card resonates with you and then I read the three cards. So the deck I am using is the Light Sears deck by Chris Ann. I will leave a link to it in the description and you can check it out if you like it. So let's go ahead and get started. This week I was called to use the sound bowl instead of a candle to clear the space. So here we go. I call upon the, we call upon the archangels, our guides, guardians, and ancestors to join us. We ask that any information that is received is received for the greatest good of all those involved. So what it be? Okay. So let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. If you have a question, you can think of your question now. focus so card number one has the citrine on it card number two the amethyst card number three the quartz and I'll just give you a moment to focus on the cards and see which one resonates with you when the moment is up I'll just tap the sound bowl so you can come back to me Okay, let's go ahead and come back. So if you picked the first card, which was the one that had the citrine on it, your card is this Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is associated with having nightmares. Something in your life is feeling nightmarish right now. Um, if not right now, it will be. There's a lot going on, a lot of turmoil. You're up at night with anxiety, nightmares, um, a lot of stress going on right now for you. So um, that's the card for the first card. This is, of course, anytime there's a card like this, we, we try and remember that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. So nines in tarot usually represent some kind of turmoil, but 10, which is the card that comes after nine, is celebration so the number 10 is the celebration so ten of swords in tarot nope scratch that ten <coughs> ten is always celebration so let's just keep that in mind okay so at the end of the tunnel there will always be light so we want to keep that in mind you have this anxiety but just like life has its ups and downs, it will end, okay? So even though this card may seem, real, seem really grim, the tarot is giving you the chance that if you're not going through it right now, you have that opportunity to know that it's coming and prepare for it. Okay, so let's look at the next card. The next card is the Ten of Pentacles. Talk about, I just said celebration, right? The Ten of Pentacles is all about celebrating with family, celebrating your wins. So right now, if you pick this card, you are either in a period of celebration or you're going to be celebrating your wins. Pentacles is usually about finances and um, so celebrating your financial wins, celebrating your accomplishments, okay? So if you've been going through, um, I'm getting the feeling if you've been going through a period where you just feel really underappreciated and like nobody gives it 
what you've been doing or there's no reward for what you've been doing, the time is going to come where you will be rewarded and you will have your time to feel the weight being lifted. So that time is coming for you if you pick the Ten of Pentacles this week. And the last card is the Two of Swords. And this is another card that's come up probably four or five times from in different readings I've done over the last two weeks. So I'm starting to wonder if this is the card for me and not for the people I'm reading. So, so the Two of Swords is about bondage. And it's about, ooh, that was weird. It's about being pulled in different directions. It's about um, having rose-colored glasses on and not seeing things clearly. So the Two of Swords says open your eyes to the way things really are and stop looking at things as the way you wish they were. So this is a really important message um, if you chose this card, is to see things as they are and not how you wish they were. So. I hope that you all enjoyed the card reading this week. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you've been here before and you're hitting that like button or you're enjoying the reading, but you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. Um, I see that a lot of people are coming to do to listen to the readings and watch them, but they're not hitting the like button and they're not subscribing. So um, let's get that changed around, okay? Also, a quick note, I had switched the channel around to be doing some Dollar Tree hauls and different hauls on this channel as well as the readings and the metaphysical stuff. I'm going to be switching back to only doing tarot readings, spiritual stuff, unboxings, and things like that on this channel. I am going to do a separate channel for the hauls. So when I get to that point, I will let you guys know what the haul channel is so that if you're interested, you can check that one out as well. All right, guys. Blessed be. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Bye.